this is a Schatz um, three ball this pendulum quite a rare pendulum didn't didn't use very long um, I think probably because it wasn't that popular but uh, it's quite a rare pendulum right but quite a rare clock you can tell um, whether it's the correct clock for the pendulum or not because it's the only one with the a singular um, hole in the crane with um, two grooves around it let's um, just see there so you know it's the correct one for that that pendulum um, but I thought I'd show how um, how I check all the mobiles put one in put the the plate on and just spin it if it spins freely and it's got end shake you lift it up and it immediately drops back down again doesn't need much don't even know whether you can hear it or not that's all you do do that to everyone and then when you've done that do it in pairs like that one that one goes under there put the plate on and just make sure they run freely together and then take that one out and put the next one in and then do the same with the barrel on that one again make sure Zen shake um, and once you know all that's all right you know there's not any friction in there then it's just a matter of um, putting the clock together I've already checked all the mobiles anyway um, so it's just a matter of putting everything together I always do it I know I've shown this before but it doesn't hurt to show it again I always do it without the um, without the anchor anchor on um, that way you know it's um, give it a couple of clicks once you've taken up the slack of the spring if it if it starts to go um, after you take up the slack then you know it's going to be pretty hunky-dory that's a technical term hunky-dory a bit fiddly sometimes to get all the all the things in place but once I've got a couple in place the back ones I like to put just gently put a couple of pins in or if it's a screwed one oh. if it's a screwed one I um just put a couple of screws in gently I've got this around the wrong side of it, it happens sometimes it's easy to take the ratchet off and then put it on again afterwards again just just hold them in place and then I work from the center arbor once I got that in I get the others in place one at a time the skate wheel is normally the last bit and then just give it a, a gentle turn to make sure it's um, all seated right put the other pins in put the click back on make sure that's well and truly tight because I have known I'm come undone
again I do that one up tight as well although I've not, never known that come undone it's just a force of habit <clears throat> and then I just take up the slack of the spring a couple of clicks and as long as it spins on a couple of clicks which is doing I've got my hand in the way so spinning away quite nicely look on a couple of clicks you know there's no um, no friction in the the main movement and then it's just a matter of taking the top two out taking the moving the bottom two out a little bit but not take them out completely to put the um to put the anchor in i thought i'd show how um if you get a clock that hasn't got the right torsion spring in the book um i thought i'd show how i determine which one it is um this is something that um was recommended by Kirk from the NAWCC um, and I must say it's a brilliant idea it works really well um, all you do is before you cut the torsion spring hang it up on something set it rotating not you know just say you would in a clock and then you want eight beats in um, 60 seconds or thereabouts um, that's how determine whether it's the correct torsion spring or not this being a three ball it's not in the book um, there's one similar in the book um, which is um, 0035 um, but most of the JUFs are um, the four ball and the discs are 0040 um, so this is a um, an 0035 torsion spring and I've just checked the beats it's a little bit fast but um, it's in the ballpark so I'm going to cut it and um, fit it if I need to thin it a little bit um, then I will but uh, that's how we determine whether um, <coughs> it's the correct torsion spring or not the one that was on it was not a horror over it was a one of the original bronzy coloured ones hope that was helpful Just a matter now of um, testing it, and getting it regulated. It's um, it's running a little bit fast at the moment, but um, may need to thin the spring. I ended up putting a, a 0 0.038 on. I never had a 3.6 but a 3.5 was um, a little bit too thin so I put a 3.8 on um, and say it's running just a little bit fast not a lot um, <clears throat> I'll leave it now till tomorrow and um, see how much is gained by and I'll know how much approximately to thin it by hope you enjoyed that thank you very much